Hi, and welcome to the Estonian Linux Users Group version 2. My name is Chris Moore, and I'm with the PCBSD project. Uh, Andre asked me to film this video greeting for you guys, just to give you a little bit of background about myself and uh, PCBSD, where the ideas came from, what the plans are right now and for the future, including some information about the IX Systems buyout slash merger. First, let me start with myself. Uh, as I said before, my name is Chris Moore. I live over in a Washington state in the United States, way out on the northwest coast. Um, I started a PCBSD about a year and a half, two years ago now at this point. Just from an idea, really, it popped out of nowhere. I was running a lot of Linux and Unix servers at one point, and I became frustrated with some of my Windows desktop systems and decided to try working with the uh, Linux desktop world. Couldn't find anything that really worked for me, so what I ended up doing was taking a FreeBSD box, configuring it the way I liked it, and sure enough, I had a working desktop here pretty quickly. So I got the idea, hey, why isn't there a graphical installer for uh, FreeBSD to make this whole desktop procedure easy? Why can't we include KDE by default or some other desktop environment so that users have a very simple and clean uh, experience installing a desktop system? And then as I kind of pondered and went more into detail on these ideas, I, I kind of determined what the real thing that was holding back a lot of desktop adoption under uh, Linux and other free operating systems was the me method of uh, package management. Everyone has RPMs or ports or various types that use uh, different dependency models. For example, if you install Firefox, there may be 10 dependencies underneath it that it needs to run, GTK, Pango, whatever. So what I decided to do was to go with a more uh, Mac-centric or Windows-centric model where it uses PBIs instead, which stands for PCBSD installer. What these files are is very similar to an EXE file, similar to an install shield. And within each file, you have all the libraries and dependencies required for running the program, so you're never stuck trying to troubleshoot various dependency issues or issues with... Uh, you know, your underlying libraries. And for example, you could run concurrent programs that use different library sets without them breaking one another. On some systems, it's very hard to do to have conflicting libraries loaded at the same time. They tend to, to cause issues with uh, your programs working properly. So that's, that's kind of the background of where PCBSD came from. Some of the ideas that got me motivated to start the project. Obviously, it's matured and grown now. We've developed into a lot more uh, fully functional OS with our own utilities and, and programs which can uh, you know, let you configure your system, make it easy to run a free BSD desktop basically, or a server if that's what you're doing. Um, right now what we're working on is version 1.3, which is going to be the latest release of PCBSD, probably be out in the next week or so. Uh, one of the biggest features for this release is we've redone the installation wizard on the actual install CD. This was a huge feature since the old one was one I wrote very quickly just to get it released back a couple years ago. This new one supports a lot of new features where it's able to set up and ask all your information before it actually does the install. Um, has some advanced options like setting up your network, setting up your firewall, all right out of the box. So after you get the installation done, your system's essentially working the way you'd want it. You know, numerous bug fixes as well for some of the utilities that PCBSD uses specifically. Um, you fix some things with PBIs, for example, the package remover software. We've also upgraded some of the various ports and packages on the system. We're now running KDE 3.5.4, and pretty much everything up to date in the ports collection as of yesterday, uh, 12.14, I believe. Um, one of the other things you may have heard about in the uh, tech news right now is uh, PCBSD was recently bought out by uh, IX Systems. I'm not sure if you're familiar with who IX Systems is, but they were a company back in the day who specialized in making free BSD products. Right now what they do is they develop a lot of rack mountable servers down in California and uh, sell those all over the world I believe. And uh, one of the guys over there, the VP, uh, Matt Olander, for example, is the marketing manager for the FreeBSD project. So they're very well tied into the FreeBSD community. They've been doing this for a long time. They know what the community uses and where it's going, and that's all they specialize in, really, is FreeBSD at this point. So what, we're, what the idea was with this buyout was to give us the resources and marketing and capital really to get PCBSD going, where we can start making inroads into the desktop community and into the business community. 
for example, right now, a lot of businesses won't rely on using a uh, desktop Linux or other desktop systems when there's no commercial support available. Companies don't feel comfortable using software where there's nobody on the other end of the line if they have a problem. They need to be able to call someone and get a hold of them. Well, with the resources at IX Systems, we're going to make that happen for PCBSD as well now, where folks will have the ability to get a hold of us should they have problems, be able to order merchandise and other hard copy type uh, uh, products where they may actually need something physical in their hands as opposed to just a download off the internet. Um, we have a lot of good future plans coming up with IX Systems and it would be that kind of stuff as well. Uh, you know, offering support for businesses who want it. You know, home user support, email support, phone support, whoever whoever needs support we'll try and give them a hand getting the system installed and up and running. You know, plus we can help troubleshoot issues over the phone, maybe get bugs fixed a little quicker as well. Um, after 1.3 comes out, we'll obviously start working on 1.4 and then down the road, uh, version 2.0. As far as that goes, uh, you know, it, things may change at this point, but we're looking at KDE 4 when that comes out. That would be the big feature to have, plus free BSD 7 under the hood, which I hear there's a lot of nice features in as well, including some extra hardware compatibility. So uh, we're definitely excited and eager to keep working in the future and make PCBSD the best desktop and server operating system it can be. We already know it has the good server roots. I mean, look at all the people running FreeBSD for their web servers right now. So it's just a matter of getting all the tools and utilities and GUIs working the way you'd expect them to. We appreciate your support, and if you have any questions, please let us know on the web or ask Andre. Uh, he'll be happy to answer anything he can. Otherwise, you can contact me up on the website, uh, pcbsd.org, as well. Thank you very much.